Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm showing you how to make bruschetta, no bruschetta, bruschetta, the classic way. You don't have a barbecue, that's fine. I'll show you how to make it at home. Three different ways, easy, fantastic, classic bruschetta. I have a fresh mouth right now. Refresh your mouth with bruschetta. Mmm! Mmm! Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate with my bruschetta. Come on guys, let's make this together and let's not order bruschetta from the restaurant anymore. You must make bruschetta at home. There are so many different ways of making bruschetta. Bruschetta is not just with tomatoes. You can use grilled zucchini, you can use mozzarella, you can use sausages, you can use, honestly, anything, eggplants, anything. You be creative, you know, bruschetta is creative. But today I'm gonna show you the classic original way. Now, bread, very important. You can use the pane di casa or any Italian bread that you like. Oh, sourdough. I'm a big fan of sourdough and I do want to use sourdough today and I'll show you how beautiful it is. Then we need some nice fresh basil. It needs to be fresh. Two options of tomatoes. I've got cherry tomatoes and I'm going to show you what I do with the cherry tomatoes. Or we can use a classic normal tomato. Two cloves of garlic. I'm going to use one garlic to actually put on the bread and one piece of garlic to put in the tomatoes. You can use red onions if you prefer, okay? Up to you. Extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper. Simple ingredients. Now, with the tomatoes, what I actually like to do, you'll be surprised. I'm not using a chopping board to cut them. What I like to do is I like to cut them with a tomato knife, of course, and just cut it like this into small cubes, okay? As small as you can, please as small as you can, just like this. Oh, beautiful, I wanna get all the juice out. I don't wanna do this on the chopping board because if I cut the tomatoes on the chopping board, what's gonna happen? It's gonna happen that the juice will stay on the chopping board. Thank God to the person that created tomatoes. Thank you, tomato maker, thank you. Now, I like to do everything with my hands, okay? I wanna fill the tomato, okay? The tomato is there. We're gonna put a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil. When I say generous, I mean it, generous. Don't count, it can be three, four, five tablespoons. We're gonna put a nice generous amount of salt. Okay, just nice salt. We're gonna put some pepper. Tomatoes like the pepper. Just the pepper there, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I like to crush my garlic. I like to use a crusher because I think, you know, it crushed the garlic so good. And when you put the garlic in the tomatoes, it kind of disappears in the tomato. I don't want to have chunks of garlic in my mouth. Beautiful. Now, you say to me, oh, we don't want garlic in the tomatoes. What can we do? Well, use red onion. You don't want to use red onion? Well, don't use anything, just keep it simple. Last but not least, we're gonna use this beautiful basil, okay? Beautiful basil from the garden, okay? If you can't find it from the garden, go to a shop that sells beautiful basil. And this is how I like to break it, okay? Break it with your hands. Straight from there, you break it with your hands in small pieces. You wanna put the whole leaf, put the entire leaf. But I like to break it, and when I break it, I smell my hands. I love the smell of basil. See, if I was a woman, I will ask you to give me basil plants for Valentine's Day. You have one thing left to do, mix, and I'm using my hands. Use a fork if you don't feel comfortable. I'm doing this because I wanna feel my tomatoes, beautiful. And my hands are washed, by the way. <laughs> this is what we do. Oh. Look at the juice, look at the juice that we get over here. The juice from the tomato, the extra virgin olive oil, brings all the juice out. Look, look what we got over here, look at that. See this, see this, see that juice? This is what you want, because the bruschetta, the bread, needs the juice over there. 
If you let it rest, you're gonna get more juice out of the tomatoes, okay? If you don't have time to rest it, it's still okay. But if you do have the 10, 20, 30 extra minutes, just let it rest. And look what you get. You get more and more juice. Juice this is better than gold. Another fantastic option to make bruschetta is to actually use cherry tomatoes. And I'm using top quality cherry tomatoes here. And what we do is we cut them enough. Why? Because what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze the cherry tomatoes on top of the bruschetta. And all the juice will go out fantastically right on the bread. And I'm gonna show you. So just get good cherry tomatoes, nice and juicy. You know, you want the juice to come out. No juice, no party. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to cook the bruschetta three different ways. Keep in mind, the original way is to use charcoal. You need to have a barbecue, charcoal barbecue, and you actually grill, toast the bread on the charcoal. We are inside, we don't have charcoal, so what do we do? One, option one is the skillet. We're gonna put a skillet, very high temperature, on the cooktop. Other option is to use the toaster. The toaster, it's fantastic. Option three is to use the oven. So what you do, you turn the broiler, the grill on top, and the fan force option at the same time at 200 Celsius degrees. The first option I'm gonna show you is the skillet, okay? The skillet is on a very high temperature. It's very, very hot. I can feel it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the bread and toast both sides. So uh, when is ready? I don't know when it's ready. We have to keep checking, okay? So in a couple of minutes, we go and check. And when we have those beautiful dark lines, it means our bread is ready to be turned. After a couple of minutes, I'm gonna turn the bread and look what we get. Look at that, see? This is what you wanna get. This is the achievement. This is what you want to achieve. It's a bit hot, but see that? This is beautiful. This is the color that you want. The toaster, the oven cannot give you this color, okay? This is as close as it gets to the barbecue. And now it's time to turn them and see if they're cooked. Oh, yeah, they are. Look at this, look at this beauty. Look at the perfect color. It looks like I cooked them on charcoal, but instead we use the skillet. It's fantastic. Now, what do we do? We put the garlic on top, so it melts on the bread. Look at that, look how beautiful it is. Beautiful melting garlic on top of the bruschetta. Fantastic. And now we're gonna put the tomato. Look at the juice there. Put the juice first, spread the juice everywhere. Yes, baby. Let's spread the juice. Now we add the tomatoes. Ah, oh, yes. The beautiful tomatoes on our bruschetta ah, this is what we want guys you don't have to order bruschetta from the restaurant please don't do that they can't put the love that you can put on your bruschetta look how much love i'm putting hmm? i'm not kissing the tomato but they can feel the love look at that look at that the basil on top the basil on top we put the extra juice on top Ooh, wow and first bruschettas are ready to be eaten. Come on. Now the toaster. What you can do is you can put the bread in like this, standing up. Or if your slice is small, then what you can do, you can actually put it in like this. And the toaster is the faster option, okay? It's gonna do the job in no time, okay? So this bruschetta will be quickly done. Look how perfect the toaster makes the bruschetta. So now guys, before we put the tomato on top, you get a piece of garlic, you get a garlic clove, and you just go like this on top. Okay, the bread is nice and hot, it's crunchy. You do this and the garlic melts on it, you see? It's perfect. Once this is done, we're gonna put the tomato right on top. Beautiful 
tomato right on top and we're gonna put some juice as well you know the juice is extremely extremely important yeah put the juice on top and give extra flavor Now the third and last option is to actually cook the bruschetta in the oven. So you need baking paper, you put a bread here on top and then we place it in the oven. But what we use is we need to use fan forced and the grill, the broiler, together at the same time, okay? So we cook from the top, from the side. The good part about this is that you can actually make bruschetta with something that you wanna melt. So let's say you wanna put mozzarella on top or any cheese on top, okay? Or you wanna cook sausages. You just spread the sausage mince on top of the bruschetta. You put it in the oven, you're cooking the bread and what's on top, okay? So the oven, it's a great option when you want to melt something on the bruschetta. I like it. Otherwise, I use the toaster or the skillet. Okay, guys, this is what you get when you put it in the oven, okay? We've got broiler, the grill, and the fan force, you get this. Now, if you get a little bit burned, don't worry about it. It's more authentic, isn't it? It's more authentic. So what you do, you get a knife and you just remove the burn part, okay? You will be fine. If you use charcoal, most likely you will get this. So, now what do we do now? Okay, we put extra virgin olive oil on top. Beautiful extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to squeeze the cherry tomato on top, just like that, just like this. Oh, and then we leave it there. Okay, so one, we got two, look at that. Look at the juice, look at this juice coming out. Look at this juice. Two, then we have another one here. So three, yes, baby, yes, baby. And then the one again here, beautiful juice. Look how much juice we have on this. One more, one more, yes. And here we have one bruschetta with a little bit of basil, sprinkle of salt, some pepper. And here we have a bruschetta with fresh cherry tomatoes. And here is how you make the cherry tomatoes bruschetta, simple, delicious, yummy, full of flavors, and most importantly, full of juice. Juice is what we want. Guys, this is the best time of the video recipe, the moment I've been waiting for. Time to eat. Look at this beautiful bruschetta. Mmm. Mmm. Listen to the crunch. Listen to the crunch. Mmm. Mmm. What else can I say, guys? What can I say? Thank you so much for watching the episode. We will see you on the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Go to the shops, buy the tomatoes, buy the bread, buy the basil, and make your bruschetta. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.